Hey guys, Popular Boat here, and today I'm playing some more Europe Universalis 4 as Brandenburg in our Prussia Robust campaign. Now things are going rather splendidly. Um, getting quite united. Doing reasonably well. I was hoping we could get Danzig as a vassal, but they're not so keen just yet. I want to support Sweden's independence. Hungary's about oh, fucking God damn it. Hungary's made us a rival again. As they like to do. <coughs> okay, let's um let's build spy network on Denmark. Who do we have as friends? Tria and Austria, Saxony. I think Tria is mainly because they're a elector. Saxony is an elector. Austria, you do not get to be an elector. <clears throat> Bohemia's embraced Renaissance. Ah. Oh. Click escape for a fucking second to get rid of a menu, and it cleared the finances thing so we have that loan again. Annoying. Been playing, um, been playing a lot of Stellaris, and hitting escape doesn't clear the pop-up menu. Like, if, if an event pops up, the escape clears menus before it touches events. Quite annoying. Alright, war exhaustion is getting down. Corruption is going up because of overextension. Okay, let's bump that up a little so that's actually dropping. <clears throat> we'll get our next bonus soon. Holstein, or who do you belong to? You belong to Holstein. Excellent. More members for our glorious empire. Because the more princes, the more imperial authority we get. And I want to get some of these buffs up before the thing fires. Because re reduction in national unrest will be nice. Okay, who does Venice like? France. Denmark is friends with Hungary and Muscovy. That's a bit of a painful one. <coughs> Oh, Sweden's got a nice leader there. Nobles ally with foreign power. Lose prestige, we've got plenty. And they gain... Loyalty? We don't really need the manpower. Maintenance modifier is nice, though. Or oh, they get a little bit grumpy. I don't want to lose the admin. Okay, that sounds easy. Well, France... France will not support Venice at the moment. Saxony would help us fight. I think that's a good idea. Um, let's get this up to 32. Then we can split it, have two armies of 16. That should be under our force limit. But let's get this started. Can we threaten war for that province? No. Okay, let's declare that. Call in Saxony, and we want Brescia back.
Trust your neighbor. Gain a stability. Excellent. Cardinal exposed. Zealand loses a cardinal. Who are we at war with? A lot of people down that way. That'll be fine. <clears throat> Let's actually get those cores started. Shouldn't take as long for that army to put itself together. And then we'll go fight these clowns. Then we can have an army with our shitty king who we want to die. I don't care if they run a bit of a muck. Actually, let's do this. Split off the ones I want. Down to 16. Give him our leader. He can go on his merry way. Straight into Augsburg. Perfect. Our second army will have our shitty king. Fifteen. Where's the other? Demand unlawful territory from Hess. Yes, do it. Give it back. They accept accepted the demand. Good. Um, we can call in Austria. Fuck yes. Um, alright. What was the other thing I was going to do? We could use a couple cannons. Because that will speed up our conquests of forts quite considerably. So let's do that. Now, oh, Brittany came too. Are they a vassal of Austria or something? In a personal union with Austria. All right. Wait for those guns to be produced for them. Let's improve relations with Poland while we wait. These are almost done. <clears throat> We outnumber them quite strongly, and Brittany's not gonna give in because they're in a personal union under Austria. Okay, let's head down here. Drop that cannon off and then head over to Alsace. Our Emperor now has loose lips. Good job. Just in farmlands, we're not going to get a crossing penalty. Oh, we are. Maybe. Austria's coming in as well. That should be fine. Hundred and five percent, one point three tactics. Kind of negates that penalty. We should have our guns coming in soon too. But oh, that was a solid win. Inspirational leader on our. General two. Okay, let's combine them, split it. Good guy can go there. 
Let's move him back. Give him our crappy king. Move on up. How old is our heir actually? 19. Good age for him to come into power. That one gun makes such a difference. Eleven more years on our truce with Nitra. Losing money at the moment. But that will be because these armies are reinforcing. <clears throat> Austria is off to save Brittany, do some fighting. 15 years until colonialism begins, and it's undoubtedly going to end up over this side of the world. I, <laughs> I was playing multiplayer with one of my mates, and he played as Tunis, and um, he colonised down into Africa a little bit, these land bridge sections, and he had done enough of it that the centre of colonialism was Tunis. Possible succession war. We're in... I wonder how that will happen. We are currently in a war with Austria together. If we go to war with Austria, how the fuck is that going to work? We'll find out in a second. But yes, um... He was playing as Tunis. He had the colonialism center of, um, whatever it is, start in Tunis, and because Tunis is a raiding nation, he had pissed off all of the, um, all of the European nations, and so the spread of colonialism was incredibly slow. It had to creep through province by province, and even Portugal having its one little province over here, um, took forever to conquer, well, to spread, and it was actually spreading through the Ottomans faster than into Castile this way. This is crazy. Okay, War of Hungarian Succession. So it cancelled our war against Venice. Completely? No. <laughs> okay, it, it broke our war with Venice and instead gave that war to Austria. And now it's us fighting Austria for Hungary. Brandenburg has gone to war with Austria. Old King of Hungary willed that his throne should be passed on to Austria in the event of his death. Brandenburg claims that the Old King was not of sound mind. Bohemia has announced us as a rival. Alright, let's get our people home. And then we will fight... Austria. Austria is considered a great power now that they have Hungary. How do we look for... Whoa, they've got a lot more men. Aragon as well? Why Aragon? What is your relation to Austria? Oh well. We can do it. I believe in us. Okay, let's not go through there and have our people pop up right under Hungary. Actually, we will for that one. Snipe a guy. Snipe another guy. Nope, he got away. We may get crossing penalties. We can demand unlawful territory from Hess, but they will refuse because I think we've already done it recently. Yes. Yes, we did. Instead, let's crush Hungary's army. Okay. 
Actually, I think what we might need to do is build our force up. Oh, we're losing a lot of money. Alright, let's... Uh, military... No. Economy, let's raise war taxes. And... Stop rooting out corruption. These cores will get done eventually. I want to win this war. I want Hungary as a vassal. <clears throat> so we're going to need to make our army stronger. Actually. If we can get some mercenaries in, that'll be good too. Let's take a loan. Mercenaries will save our manpower a little bit. Let's grab a free leader from the nobility. Let's boost our manpower a bit. <clears throat> okay. That'll be two mercenaries each. Two of these extra units each. And let's have a look at this new general we got. 204 is pretty fucking rubbish. Um, let's just spawn a couple. 413 is alright. 312 is crap. Okay, let's get these mercs up. We're gonna have to hope we can pull this off. It's going to be a solid challenge. Switzerland is offering us a loan. That's a rubbish loan. stand in the woods. Move up. Give you our stronger fighter. You should have a stronger leader too. Yeah, let's drop the speed back just so I don't have to pause so much. Woods, woods, woods. I want them to start sieging my capital. Don't know where Austria's army is, which is a bit concerning. But they might be fighting off Venice. Um, We'll see, we'll see. If we had to siege down Austria's capital, that would be fantastic. So let's make a start on it. Oh, Venice is already there. Alright then. Okay, I think we'll... Hmm. Nitra, will you give us access? You would. Let's take it. Let's get into Osmark. <clears throat> Austria is losing the war against Venice. Hopefully Hungary doesn't have an army nearby. Oh, only little ones.
Aragorn's on our capital. If we can get in there and fight that, that would be fucking great. Let's see how we go for luck. Austria's army's coming back. They'll be going to fight... Um, Venice. So let's detour into here and see if we can catch... Oh, even better. We'll catch... Oh, come on. I want to catch Aragon on our capital. Yeah, we're a couple days late. <clears throat> and there's lots of woods up here, which makes it painful. Ah, tyranny diplo relations. Let's cancel that again. It's a bit annoying we didn't we couldn't call our allies into this fight. Please walk onto Berlin. Get the lock. There we go. Alright, they have the penalties. We'll unsiege. Actually, we don't need to do that at all. Our fort will clear that. Smash Aragon's army a bit. We have a lot of lost war score from all those provinces, but that's fine. <clears throat> what do we need to get? Take capital of pests. Cool. We are going to go do that next. Austria is losing this Venice war, so that's going to push their war exhaustion up. That's actually pretty low. But if we can go and get Pest, that would be spectacular. Let's move our army down. Can we reach Pest? Yes, we can. Oh. Did... Leader died. That would have been... No, we lost our good leader. Okay, let's see if we can get a better one. That's still pretty mediocre. Alright. Come on down. Let's bump the speed back up to three. I'm pretty confident with things at the moment. with Danzig died. Get that back. We have an Empress Consort with Danzig now. That should bump our relations up. They're still really not keen on joining us, but we'll get them there eventually. Okay, let's raid um, Hungary again. I'll split off the gun so we have two on Pest. Switzerland has gifted us some gold. It's very nice of them. Especially considering I think we've got them rivaled. Okay, that army can't move. need four guns for the two bonus, so that's a bit irrelevant. That's fine. 
<clears throat> Don't want our capital to fall. I suppose a lot of the money we're losing is because Holland is a um was our center of trade. We don't get that power at the moment. Oh, Austria's lost a battle and retreated through into Hungary, so we may get attacked in Pest soon. At least it's just a river. And on farmlands. We'll see. If we can capture the fort before they fight us, that'll be great. Aragon has grabbed Ruppen. They're getting a bit irritating. Oh, once we have Pest, we'll be getting the Ticking War score, which is now at about 10, and then we can go crush some armies and reclaim our land. Austria's still getting wrecked by Venice, so that's a huge bonus for us. <clears throat> Come on, break the walls or something. Eh, defenders desert. Not awful. They haven't actually got any of my forts. They keep walking in and out of them. I'm getting a lot of war exhaustion. But we really just need pest, and then that's gonna save our ass. There we go. So now, let's do some fighting. Good stuff. Um. Yes, I do want more war taxes. I think we'll grab a couple little provinces down here. Took a loan, okay, that's fine. We'll siege these four down. And then we'll go fight these bastards. back down. Actually, it's time for me to put a break in here. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you've been enjoying. Like, subscribe, check out my other videos, and next episode we are going to be crushing this and finishing off this war and enjoying Hungary as our little puppet.